Hi there everybody, it's Halsey from Slim and Stylish and you're joining me today with my swaps from on stage. So I have done another video which had my swaps from the Poodler's Team Retreat to which I did these 3x3 three three cards with a little bow on and then for on stage I did 3x3 three three cards, these ones here, um, without the bow. But I have five of them left and I will give those away, gift them and post them to the first five comments on either here and my blog that are sort of in the Europe region um, and I will get those posted to you and the same is happening over on my Poodler's Retreat video so there's ten overall, five on each video so go and have a look and my blog will detail how I made those so I'm just going to rush through and I am going to rush through um, some of the swaps I received from on stage um, I went into more detail on my Poodler's one because there wasn't as many but I'm going to rush through these and hopefully make it a bit of a shorter video for you um, I'll tell you who made them when I get to them if they've got it on, some of them don't. Um, this was a spin the bottle set using the um, Bubble Over bottle. It's attached there just to, what are they called, um, to a brad so that you can spin it and decide what you're going to do. And that was made by, oh that's crafty. Okay, these are the card tops that I received. So this one's Adrienne. Brocklebank. Um, this one I love, I will add. I think this one was probably my favourite one that I received. And it was Chris Robson who made this one and it was using the Dragonfly set. And that is all embossed, um, heat embossed, so it just twinkles. Thank you so much, which was Crafting with a She. This one here, which folds all the way out as a three fold card. And that was a Peekaboo's Egg card by Jill Moore. This one here was quite cute. It was from one of the German stampers, Lola. And it's got the little Stampin' Up logo on there. And I'm pretty sure she said, it's quite a thick one actually. She said something about it. I don't know whether she said there was a magnet there or something. I can't remember, but that was her swap. A three by three card front there. I'm not sure whose it was. Then I had this heat embossed grungy one um, with the Van Gogh sentiment. And it's got the... A little paint charm on the top there so that was by Moira McCann. Uh, Fanny Stafford has made the Celebrate Amazing You and what she's done is she's used a die set here but she's cut it and used different cards. I don't know if you can see the joins so that she got the ombre effect. And there's this one here which was using the Southern Serenade stamp set and that was Sarah Wickens. Yes Sarah Wickens. This one here, I loved this stamp set. I didn't get it, but I wanted it, and I loved how the card came out here from Kitty's Cards. Little bookmark here, enjoy this life, remember you're happy. This is using the tags, everyday tag stamp set. Everyday tags, tags for everything, by Anna Pickering. A coaster, Crafting Forever, which was made by Karen Caswell. Another bookmark here, Squeeze It For All It's Worth, using the Lemon Zest one which was by, oh I give up, that's who it's by, I'm not even going to attempt to say it, I'll say it completely wrong, this was using the Bubble Over stamp set as well, um, by Deborah Carter, the umbrella and the rain, and the rain is all glittery, I don't know whether you can see, it's got dazzling diamonds on there, and that was Sandra Roberts, this one here was made by Michelle Last, so she's my uplines upline, and I loved this, and it's all been heat embossed across it as well, and the back's been, as you can see, it's been using one of the embossing folders, and that was Michelle Last. This one here is Rebecca Daniels' card. This one is using the glimmer paper, and that's really clever because that's white glimmer paper, and that has been dyed and coloured over it using the brushos, and then one of the framelits put over the top and that was by Christine Crafts Online and I love how that glimmer paper's turned out, it looks really good. The Orchid Builder card front and that was by Jackie Evans. This one here was by Beverly Bryant. It uses a few of the different sets here together but I like how the, the leaves imitate the background. And this one, I'm not sure whose this one is, it's a blank background but I love it. I love that stamp set anyway and bright colours, definitely a favourite of mine. I will show you now my swap of the day. I don't know who made it because it's not on there but I loved this one and this is going to sit on my 
my desk and when I open it I'm just going to push the flowers together a little bit to give it some dimension but it's amazing isn't it it's gorgeous and it's on like that's really thick carpet it's also on the metallic -y bit so you can bend it and that I think is going to be my new desk ornament I love it on to my 3d swaps now and again I'm just going to nick the chocolates out as we go through because I keep these above the radiator so we've got this one with a good day stamp set I think that is my stamp of on stage it has been used by everybody and everybody either seems to have used the just for you stamp from it or a little treat for someone sweet really cute I'm not sure who made that it hasn't got it on there this one was made by crafty Claudette she's a lollipop in there so I'm just going to tea leaf that out but that was using the painted for love DSP this one here using the coffee bean set for you don't know who it's made by that just folds over that's got a tea light in it so I'm just going to keep that separate to the chocolates over there with the library clip little envelope I'm not sure who that one's by hopefully there's a note inside today is the perfect day to be happy and it's got some green and black chocolate in and it was made by Chris Addison who's a pinky so that's part of Michelle Last's team I'm a pinky once removed because I'm actually a poodle in Sam's team Sam Donald's but I still class myself as a pinky um, we're cut out to be friends oh, that's a little charm little scissors charm by um, Linda these are quite cute people have had their own stamps made so there's another one also on this one um, by Kathleen and that's got in it two lint chocolates I'll whip those out in a minute but that's a triangle box side by side on it This was quite clever and very unusual. It was the only jewellery piece I received other than some of the charms. Um, but it was made using brusho and it's like an abstract one. And that was made by um, Tracy Allen. So that was quite cute. Just for you in a little square box. Step on at the bottom. So it's... Oh. I tell you, glue dots are great when you're crafting, but they are not great when you're opening. They are not my friend. Oh. They've stuck it down with glue dots too. <laughs> Another tea light. And that was made by... Rosie Miners. That's quite cute, but that box has been a little bit destroyed now. Because Can you imagine what I'm like at Christmas? I just ripped the wrapping paper off everything. I'm terrible. Enjoy today. This was made by Sandra Candish and her swap, which is using the scalloped tag top. Lots of people have used this and it's just beautiful, isn't it? Has got lavender seeds in. So how lovely is that gonna smell? Love that. Um nice little envelope here with a heart. I'm not a fan of this paper, but I must say, with the heart and with the burlap, it does look really nice. And that has got uh, lemon and ginger tea in it, and it was by Kelly Stamps. Um, I can hear this, can you hear? I'm hoping it's not seeds. Everyone else who's given seeds has said on the thing, and I don't want to <laughs> have hundreds of seeds all over, but it sounds like seeds. Let's open it delicately just in case it is seeds. No, it's not. It's not. It's a sweets. Oh, I like those as well. They're, they're quite nice sweets. And that was by Pat James. I love how the, the box has come out. Uh, really nice, really grungy. That's a really cute little box. Uh, got another little envelope here which has a charm in, so that's Crafty Kelly. She's done that one. And she's got a little charm in that says made with love and a little angel's wing. That's really cute. It says you're the best on it. Some of these have really nice sentiments when you're giving it away, like this one, just for you, which is made by Crafty Nettie, Annette Cambridge. It's got a pencil in it. 
that's everything I've piled up on the side just collapsing just ignore that <laughs> little love heart holder there so again I'm just going to whip that out I'm like a magpie aren't I just whipping the sweets out um by Emma Selcott I love the little heart on that and that's been heat embossed as well um this is by come craft with me online and I'm not sure how you open again I'm just, just ripping these open <laughs> this is using the daisy punch I love the daisy punch that seems to have been used a bit as well I've got a few more swaps with that on as well which I'll get to in a minute and that's got a little pack of love hearts in too very cute move that to the side um, a little bag using the berry bursting colours this is quite cute with the you can see with the um, border punch and it's not attached I don't know if you can see that it's just been folded and put on top and held by the ribbon so that's quite nice because there's no glue dots I'm appreciating that <laughs> let's get that open Two little chewy sweets in there. I'm not sure who made it. There isn't a card, but it's quite cute. Oh no, there is, there is. I'll open it and tell you. It's Sandra Riley. There you go. Here's another one with a daisy. I think this one has been um, squashed in my bag and it was held together by a glue dot, pesky glue dots. Got some little tossies in and it was made by Nominous. There's no note. It's a shame. Um, this little bag, friend, and it's got tea in. And if they're giving me tea, they definitely are a friend. And that was made by Lee Davis with my little, my little ribbon on top. Love that. Salty caramel and lemon drizzle. That's different. Okay, got some more love hearts here. Hope your day is sweet. I love this ribbon. I've got this ribbon in crushed curry, but it, I don't know if you see it's got the stripes on it and it's made by Kelly Stamp. I thought I had something else by Kelly Stamps. I did, I had this one by Kelly Stamps as well so she's obviously been a busy girl. Um, I'll put that on the side because it's sweets, sweets. This was quite clever, this was made by Crafty Anne and she gave this to me in the queue while we were queuing and she's used the Myths and Magic suite and she's managed to find a matching pen for it. <laughs> How cute is that? Love it. And it's a gel pen. You can't go wrong with a gel pen, can you? Enjoy today. This was tied, but I was impatient and I opened it to see what was in it. <laughs> Very impatient me. And it was by Audrey McShaw. And it was some all butter shortbread fingers. And you don't know how good I was knowing that that was in that packet and not eating them on stage. My allergies meant I couldn't eat a sandwich that came to us on stage, so um, I was ravenous. But my dedication to my blog, I was not going to eat those shortbread fingers. These are seeds again, and they were made by Crafty Periwinkle, which is uh, Joanna Spooge. Spooge, I hope that I've said that right, with a little bee on it. So that's quite cute. I'll put those to the side there. Um, an after eight treat pocket by Catherine Olsen so that's quite a nice one I think I've got someone else's project attached to there I'm not sure whose problem they go all go into bags and boxes and um oh those seeds are leaking look they're all over my desk I'm going to have a have whatever seeds they are growing out of my uh, stamping up Grid paper. Okay. Oh, that's quite cute. Look at the fastening there. That's that's really clever. I say it's really clever, but I'm not sure how to open it. It's too clever for me. Oh, there we go. Oh, I like that. That's just been halved and cut. I'm, I'm going to have to work that out. I'll work that out and I'll see if I can do a video on it because I like that. It's not a glue dot, so I like it. This was Karen Varley and she gave us this little pennant, which 
just really cute. It's like an upside down heart with the wings. I like that. That's from the Beautiful You stamp set. And I quite like that saying as well. Um, this one here is by Ruth Trice. And I that's a chocolate bar. But I remember her saying that when you take this off. Yeah, there we go. It's a magnet underneath so that can always stay on I've got a magnetic strip on the side of my desk for lost dyes so I'll put that on there to decorate it and the chocolate oh hello friend that was by Jirim and Jirim's you know, it's a little, little notepad isn't that cute love that um this one's quite cute as well. This is a magnet, I think, as well. Magnetic Bookmark by Nicola Carson. And she's used the Stampin' Up! Apron with the scissors. And she's actually used a 30-year one. So that's quite a nice remembrance to have of on stage. You're the Best, made by Mich Michaela Kerr. A little sweet sim. I don't think anybody heard about my diet beforehand. I'm going to be so fat from eating all this. Liz Rockingham. I'm intrigued. What do you reckon? Is it a pencil or a pen? long isn't it oh, oh it rattles rattles what are you <laughs> it's been pretty good i only opened one or two of them before i showed you haven't i so i've done pretty good it's a pencil something else still rattling what's rattling something else in there something else is rattling it's not coming out it's a very sharp pencil i think it's at the other end ah -ha -ha. a pen pen pencil I like that I love this ribbon that's the ribbon I used on my swaps the lemon lime twist stripe ribbon I do like that another pouch made by Jill Bolton I think I'm gonna guess it might be another tea bag these people who know I'm a tea girl wild apple and cinnamon ginger I've got some different teas to be trying here I think this is the messiest my desk's been oh Oh, it's that. That smells really nice. Really cinnamony. Really nice. Karen Howell. And she made a bookmark using the lion. That's just so cute. I love that. And then finally, um, this is Liz Yule. Um, I like this. She's, she's a lovely lady. Oh, look at that. With a little, little lot of tic tacks in. That's really cute. Live it with zest and life's short. I love that swap, it's so cute. Um, it was lovely to run into Liz. She's from a different team to me, but it's lovely to, to see her and catch up with her. So those were all my swaps from on stage. It was a great day. If you want to learn more about how you can get to on stage, go to, over to my blog, www.slimandstylish.com and it'll give you the information on joining and how to get there and exactly what you get. Because obviously I've got some products and the new catalogue and that sort of thing. So I'll detail what I got on my blog. And I will also have up close pictures of everything that I received. Um, so pop over there and have a look. And don't forget, leave me a comment either here on my blog if you're in the top five and I will post out one of my swaps to you because they're just sitting on my desk doing nothing and it'd be nice for them to have homes. Okay, everybody, thanks for joining me and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.